In this ECOS presentation, we share some images of the whole Earth taken from space. The iconic blue marble photo was taken on December 7, 1972, as the Apollo 17 spacecraft departed Earth for the Moon. The image was snapped five hours after liftoff and two hours after the spacecraft left its parking orbit around Earth. The spacecraft was already 28,000 miles away from the planet and situated perfectly for the photo with the sun behind it. But the 1972 photo wasn't the first view of the whole Earth. Five years earlier, in 1967, the ATS-3 communications satellite snapped this image. More recently, NASA has produced much higher resolution images of the planet in a series it calls Blue Marble. These next generation blue marbles are based on a variety of imaging technologies and months of observations. Much of the data came from the MODIS device on the Terra satellite, which is in orbit 435 miles above the planet. Here are both images together. The Blue Marble Project also makes high resolution images of the Earth available. Here's a close up of the West on February 1, 2004. The preceding slides have shown the Earth with the North Pole up and the South Pole down. By accident, I flipped the image and was struck by how different it looked. North America seems more like an island on a planet that is 71% ocean. Here's the other view inverted. NASA has also created some interesting images from unusual vantage points. This one shows the Arctic region and high latitudes. In some of the views, Earth looks more like the black marble. Here we can see night lights in the western hemisphere. Here's the entire world at night. And here's a close-up of the continental United States and the American West. Some of the most captivating views of Earth show the juxtaposition with the moon. The Galileo spacecraft captured this image from nearly 4 million miles away. This is an animation of the planet over a 25-hour period as the Galileo spacecraft departed in 1990 for Jupiter. Other space probes, such as Cassini, have also pointed their cameras back toward Earth. In this image, released earlier this year, the Earth and Moon are visible as a tiny dot beneath Saturn's rings. The Deep Impact spacecraft, launched in 2005 to study comets, sent back stunning images of the Moon transiting the Earth. Here's the animation, captured from a distance of about 31 million miles. Finally, here's an intriguing shot of a solar eclipse on Earth, as viewed by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2012. You can download more slides and other resources at ecowest.org.